Hi, this is Martijn at 112db.com and I'm giving you a quick start tutorial to the Cascade Synthesizer. The quickest way to understand what Cascade really does is to start with a simple oscillator frequency sweep and feed it into the densification algorithm. Let's use envelope 2 to create a ramp. We are going to use stage 1 and we are going to put this to around 4 seconds. We are not going to use stage 2, so we put the time of stage 2 to 0. Same for stage 3 and stage 4. Actually, for stage 1, we want a linear curve, so we set the curve knob to around 0. We are also going to put the repeat function on. Now we are going to feed the output of envelope 2 into the pitch of oscillator 1. This is 4 octaves, 48 semitones. Let's listen to how this sounds. Now we switch on the cascade. Let's set the wet mix to 100%. Set the size to 100. To see the densification's impulse response, we can hit the edit button. Right now, there's one line, which means one impulse. It will sound like this. Let's move the densification slowly up from 1 to 32 and listen to how the sound changes and also look at the impulse response graph. The sonic result is now noise because you can hear all frequencies at the same time. This is certainly a very extreme parameter setting that might appeal to noise artists. It also helps to understand what the densification really does. The densification parameter is continuous and it's up to you how far you want to go. Let's go a bit easier on envelope 2 modulation. Right now we have 4 octaves, which results in noise. But how about if you only modulate the pitch of VCO1 a tiny bit? Let's try 0.5. Let's listen to how it sounds now. Frequency range that is frozen over time is now half a semitone, and we can hear the sound is evolving while traveling through the cascade matrix. Since cascade has quite a long build-up time, and we might be interested in the later part of the sound, we can move the modulation into the pre-render process that runs in the background. Let's listen to the sound once again. In order to move the build-up into the pre-render process, there's a render knob in the envelope 2 section. If we set it to 100%, the effect kicks in right away. As you can hear, the evolving process is now skipped and you get straight into the interesting part. We could turn the spread up to create more stereo spread. Let's move the cutoff knob a little bit down. And modulate the filter with envelope 1. We have now created a nice string ensemble sound. We hope you liked this tutorial. Go to 112db.com, pick up the demo and check it out for yourself.